It's about time we finally build a brand new PC. Hey guys, Vimal here and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be like super awesome because we will be building like one of the most beautiful gaming PC ever on our channel. So guys, remember last week, I believe we got some brand new Corsair parts. I showed you Corsair's new IQ 5000T RGB case, that whole battle station kind of look one. And also we got their brand new AIO cooler, right? With like a super high tech LCD display on board. So we'll be using those parts in this video. So this is going to be like slightly premium build only guys and on top of that this will be like future proof and also upgradable. So you will have like variety of choices over here. Now some people might say in the comment section like Are Vimal bhai for this price point we might actually build like much better PC you know with higher specs but let me tell you. Thing is the whole concept I am telling over here is most beautiful RGB PC guys. That means uh, since we are using like high end premium RGB stuff price will be definitely higher na. Now, now I'm giving you the option guys, choice is up to you. If you don't want RGB, you don't want looks, then remove those parts. Go for simple parts without RGB. You can save a lot of money and get like better spec uh, components. So choice is up to you. Now keeping that aside, let me quickly tell you the parts that we'll be using for this build. As I've told you, this will be like future upgradable build and we'll, we are planning for like Intel 12th gen whole PC build guys. And for the same, we are using Intel's new 12th gen i7 CPU. Now this is like a 12 core 20 thread CPU guys that has both P and E cores on board and this CPU is like great for gaming guys like especially because it's got max turbo boost of up to 5 gigahertz right you can do some excellent gaming using this CPU you'll get to see the benchmarks in this video now for this 12th gen CPU you obviously need a brand new motherboard right Z690 motherboard so I was thinking of something around budget and that's why I chose Asus Tough Gaming Series Z690 plus motherboard and best part about it is it's got like next gen connectivity also on board guys budget me you're getting Wi-Fi on board Bluetooth also on board and this particular model supports DDR4 RAM so for example if you have like your old RAM now from your pre previous PC you can actually use that RAM only no need of buying like brand new DDR4 RAM so that is one plus point and this motherboard also will come at like a reasonable price only and it will fit in your budget so that is the choice we are going for and if you talk about the RAM, uh, RAM I'm using is from Corsair guys, Corsair's Vengeance Pro RGB DDR4 RAM clocked at 3000 megahertz. Uh, we are using a 16 GB kit 18 to 2 which is like more than enough for this particular budget. So that was about the RAM and coming to the AIO, I've already told you, we've got Corsair's brand new high-tech AIO on board guys. They're all new H100i Elite LCD AIO and this thing like literally rocks guys. It's got like a super high-tech display on board and quality of this display is very good. You can completely customize the display to show PC specs, PC stats, or maybe you can even throw like a GIF, anything guys, fully customizable. You'll get to see that also in this video. Oh yes, GPU guys. So I've told you now, whole plan is to build like a RGB gaming PC around 1 lakh rupees budget. So around 1 lakh you want like good GPU and good RGB also means it's quite difficult in 2022 guys. Since our concept was like RGB, I you know, I went with AMD's GPU which was their recently launched 6500 XT. Now you can either go for two choices. You can go for 6500 XT and get RGB or you can remove RGB and go for like better GPU. But unfortunately I was not able to get any sort of Nvidia 30 series GPU on board because their pricing is like quite expensive as of now guys. Uh, 6500 XT is available for around like 22,000, 23,000 rupees in India. Whereas if you go for RTX 3050 also now that is somewhere around like 36, 37,000 rupees in India. So I actually couldn't fit in that GPU in this budget. But again, it's up to you. You can cut down RGB and go for 3050 also. That will be like slightly better than 6500 XT. But anyway, 6500 XT will get your job done for 1080p gaming. Uh, you can easily do 1080p gaming in this sort of configuration. Again, I've told you this is like an upgradable build, right? So in future, you can save a bit of money and upgrade that 6500 XT with something like a better or powerful GPU. And you will have like a great setup on board, guys. 12th gen i7 combined with maybe something like a 3060 Ti or maybe 3070 in future, you will have like killer PC that can do like even uh, 1440p high end gaming also guys, more than enough. And talking about the power supply, I'm using a 650 watt power supply from ROG. Uh, and if you're tight on a budget, you can actually go for the tough edition also, which is like slightly a bit cheaper than the Strix edition PSU. 
And lastly, talking about the case. Yes, I've told you, right? The case we'll be choosing is from Corsair only. It's their brand new IQ 5000T RGB case. And it's got like beautiful looks, guys, especially because of the whole RGB light bars everywhere on it. So that is pretty much it, guys. These are all the components that we'll be using today for our build. Now, without wasting any more time, let's get started. And there you go, our build is all done and good to go. I've even neatly organized all the cables and wiring inside the PC and looks good, right? But wait until I actually power it on and show you. My gosh, just look at that! It's freaking awesome, right? The RGB light show on this thing is next level. Corsair's 5000T case is such a stunner, guys. It's got RGB on every corner of the case thanks to those built-in RGB light bars all around the body. And best part is it's all powered by IQ so you can easily sync and customize the lighting using the software. And the main highlight of the PC is that brand new AIO, the H100i Elite from Corsair. It features a super high quality LCD display on board and it's like one of the best looking AIOs out there. And yes, it's also fully customizable. You can even play your own GIFs on this thing. Just have a look at these beautiful RGB shots and enjoy the video. Okay, so here's the setup for today, 1080p monitor from LG and links for the peripherals will be in the description box below. Now it's time for the main part, the performance and benchmarks. AMD's Radeon 6500 XT is not something new for us. I've already made like a full review on this GPU during the launch itself. You can find the video on my channel guys or I'll leave a link to that in the card above. But anyways, I'm still gonna do some gameplay benchmarks for you in this video. As 6500 XT was like made for 1080p gaming, we'll be doing that only. I'll play a couple of AAA title games at 1080p resolution and show you the results. Starting off with our all time favorite GTA 5. We're playing this game at 1080p very high to ultra settings, so let's see how it goes. Hey, not bad, right? Actually, decent performance. On an average, we were easily getting around 115 FPS at 1080p ultra. Now, what more can you expect from a 23,000K GPU? This is what you'll get in 2022, guys. So, you can easily play most of the AAA title games out there at 1080p resolution on this configuration. Even if you replace i7 with i5, if you're tight on budget, you'll still get like nearly similar gaming results at 1080p resolution. Smooth gaming experience so far faced no sorts of lags or stutters, and just just like this, you can play other titles also on this thing. Like on Far Cry 6 1080p high settings, we got around 70 FPS on an average. Shadow of the Tomb Raider was given around 50 to 55 FPS at 1080p high settings. And in AC Valhalla, we were getting around like 40 to 45 FPS. 
And as I've told you at the beginning guys, if you cut down on the RGB and the looks part, you can invest the same amount that you saved and get a more powerful GPU variant. So the whole choice is up to you. By the way, I do have to mention the AIO was doing a great job keeping the CPU temperatures in check. Even after gaming for around like one hour, the CPU temperature was fluctuating only around 45 to 48 degrees centigrade as you can see in the video. Alright, time to wrap it up, let me tell you about the pricing. If you want to go with the same Corsair and ROG theme that I went in this video, then the whole thing will cost you around like 1.5 lakh rupees. But if you're tight on a budget, then you can cut down on all the unnecessary RGB premium stuff and save almost up to like 50,000 rupees. So I'll leave the whole choice up to you guys. If you want RGB, then go for this one. Or if you're tight on a budget, then go with the other plan that I've mentioned. Well, that is it for today, guys. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video and got to learn a lot. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos. And I'll see you all in my next one.